Shabbat Shalom, this is Larry Mitchell with Friends of Israel. We are continuing our verse-by-verse study through the Apocalypse. Last week we looked at Revelation 13.3, the resurrection of the Antichrist. Today we're going to look at the same verse, which I think also pertains to the resurrection of the Roman Empire. Revelation 13.3, And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Dr. J. Vernon McGee spoke about how this could apply to Rome. He said, There are many others who take the view that the beast here refers to the Roman Empire, and that the imperial form of government under which Rome fell will be restored in a startling manner. I believe this will happen, but I do not think it is a resurrection for Rome never died. Rome fell apart. Rome is like Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty Dumpty together again. But the Antichrist will put Humpty Dumpty together again, and it will be a marvelous thing. The Roman Empire has not truly died. It lives off, lives on in the nations of Europe today. Quote from Dr. J. Vernon McGee. A few years ago, I was preparing a lesson on this passage, and I was doing a PowerPoint presentation. And so I searched Google Images for Humpty Dumpty, and I was surprised to see that there is a major organization called the Humpty Dumpty Institute. When I first saw the Humpty Dumpty Institute, I thought, you know, it was a lunatic fringe group, maybe like the Flat Earthers, but it proves it proved to be a very prominent organization, very influential. And so let me just quote from their old website what they, are te- what they are saying they are. Quote, and this is from the Humpty Dumpty Institute. The old English nursery rhyme made sense in another way too. In country after country, they had seen that all the king's horses read military and all the king's men read governments couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. What was needed was an active private organization working with government, of course, and with that recognition, new and innovative nonprofit, the Humpty Dumpty Institute was born. Now governments have help from organization with a serious purpose and memorial name designed so that you will never forget us. The Humpty Dumpty Institute is a unique nonprofit organization that serves people in the developing world through the implementation of large-scale humanitarian projects and through its work with United Nations. The Humpty Dumpty Institute, UN Across America, is designed to show ambassadors and other diplomats, diplomats assigned to the United Nations parts of America, which they might not normally have the opportunity to visit. The Humpty Dumpty uh, Institute organized its first UN Across America program in partnership with the United States Mission to the United Nations in April 2005 with a visit to New Orleans by eight women ambassadors. Since its founding in 1998, the Humpty Dumpty Institute has strived to foster dialogue between the United Nations and U.S. Congress by arranging for U.S. Senators, members of Congress, congressional, congressional staff to travel to New York City and meet and discuss issues with U.N. officials. Humpty Dumpty Institute is the only NGO that consistently brings together leadership of the legislative branch of the United States government and leadership of the United Nations. Over the course of 42 programs, Humpty Dumpty Institute has hosted over 
550 members of Congress, senators, and staff of the United Nations where they have met with the UN Secretary General and senior deputies and dozens of foreign ambassadors accredited to the United Nations. These programs allow U.S. elected leaders and their staff to better understand how the United Nations can complement U.S. foreign policy objectives as well as allow them to present ideas, concerns, and proposals directly to the United Nations. You know, the Bible does prophesy that during the tribulation period, there will be a revived Roman Empire. It's spoken in many places, but Daniel 7, 23 to 24, tells of Humpty Dumpty coming back together again. Daniel 7, 23 and 24. Thus he said, the fourth kingdom, the fourth beast, shall be the fourth kingdom, that's talking about Rome, upon earth, which will be diverse from all other kingdoms, and it shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of the kingdom are ten, hin hi ten kings that shall arise, and another shall rise after the them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Those ten horns represent the revived Roman Empire, which is going to be led by the Antichrist. Humpty Dumpty Institute is just one example of many globalist organizations laboring behind the scenes trying to put Humpty Dumpty together again. We are living in interesting times. Shabbat Shalom.